So in today's video, we're going to pit Royal Caribbean's Oasis class ships against Carnival's XL class ships so we can figure out which cruise ship is going to be the perfect one for you and your family on your next cruise. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Rob from Cruise Seekers, and today we're going to do a video that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Today we're going to pit the two mega class ships between Carnival Cruise Lines and Royal Caribbean and see which one of them will work best for you and your family on your next cruise vacation. So come along as we see exactly how the XL ships from Carnival and the Oasis class ships from Royal Caribbean stack up against each other. But before I ring that first round bell, I got a question for you. Do you like these type of videos? Do you like videos about cruising tips, tricks? information about how to make a good decision between one cruise ship versus another think about subscribing turn that notification bell on become a member of the cruise seekers crew it's so appreciated by us thank you so much for doing it and hey you get notified immediately when we put out these great kind of videos about value about differences between ships and even cruise deals once a week so yeah hit that subscribe button turn that little notification bell on Thank you so much. Alrighty, so let's get to round one. Ding, ding, ding. Here comes the two opponents. We're talking about the ships. Now, Oasis class is a bigger ship. Basically, they're getting most of their larger size from its larger width. Both ships are just immense in length. They are over 1,100 feet each one. The Carnival ship is just about 50 feet shorter than the Oasis class ship. So yeah, it's a little bit longer, but the big thing is the width. The width of the Oasis class ships are much more wider than the Carnival XL ships. Now, when you have a little bit of a bigger ship, about 20% when you take a look at gross tonnage overall, you're going to have a little bit more space for the amount of people that are on these ships. Now, both ships have very, very similar passenger counts. So that might be something you might want to keep into consideration. You might feel a little bit more congested in a Carnival XL ship versus an Oasis class ship mainly because the passenger counts are very similar on these two ships, as well as the number of crew. This is about the same amount of crew on both ships as well. So on the Carnival XL ships, the double occupancies are 5,200 passengers, but it can go up to a whopping 6,500 with third and fourth berths filled. Now on the Oasis class ships for Royal Caribbean, the double occupancy rates are 5,600 passengers. But then if you start filling in all the other berths, you are going up to 6,700 total passengers. So yeah, as you can see, these passenger counts are very similar to each other. We're talking about two to 400 people in difference. So what is it then really? About 5% more people on the Oasis class ship, but the ship is 20% larger. Now, by all accounts, the Carnival XL ships have been doing a great job in, you know, dispersing their passengers, just like Royal Caribbean has been well known to disperse their passengers very, very well. So both of these ships, even though they have huge amounts of passengers, they don't feel as necessarily crowded as these numbers suggest. But if you're purely going on numbers and you're really worried about crowds, you got to understand, hey, for about the almost same passenger count, the Royal Caribbean ships are bigger. So you might want to lean a little bit more toward an Oasis class ship versus an Excel class ship on Carnival if crowd sizes is your biggest concern and you might feel a little bit more congested in that Excel class ship. So for round one, very slight edge to Royal Caribbean with that larger ship with similar size passenger counts. So the next round for our competition between the XL class and Oasis class ship is going to be dining. Now these two ships take a different approach with dining completely. The main focus with Carnival is the quick bites that are free. They have tons and tons of options that are quick bites that are free, that are really good. You have Guy's Burger. You have Guy Fieri's Pig and Anchor where you can get some barbecue sometimes. You have the Shaq's Chicken location. You have the Blue Iguana. You have uh, you know, just so many different options with Carnival on these Excel ships for those quick bites that are free and included in your cruise fare. While on Royal Caribbean, all your quick bites free type of thing are more like cafe type of things. You're gonna go to either the Cafe Promenade or you're gonna go to Sorrento's or you're gonna go maybe to the Park Cafe or the Spa Cafe. They do have a local fresh on Royal Caribbean, but that's pretty much it other than, you know, the typical grab a burger, go grab a, you know, hamburger somewhere or grab some quick Mexican. It's 
that's it. There's nothing else. While Carnival gives you a lot of choices and a lot of options. Now where Royal Caribbean does kind of elevate their game over the folks over in Carnival is in specialty dining. The specialty dining restaurants on Oasis class ships are great. There are many of them and they are all over the map as into the different types of cuisines where you might want to enjoy from, right? You might want to have something from a French restaurant or you might want to have something that is more like continental or something that is like a steakhouse or an Italian or maybe a Brazilian steakhouse or maybe something that is very thematic like Wonderland. There's just a ton of options on Royal Caribbean when it comes to specialty dining, while Carnival kind of doesn't focus in on specialty dining as much. So this is a real hard one with one to make a decision who won this round, right? To me, it's a toss up. It all depends upon how you want to cruise. If you are a person that wants to do a lot of specialty dining, you might want to lean more toward an Oasis class ship. But if you are a person that says, I want to just pay my cruise fare and get really good food and be very casual about it, then Carnival is the place to go, especially on the XL class ships. So here's Rob from the future. I didn't like the way my next round came out from the day before. So I'm going to redo this one for you. As you can see, new shirt. But look, Heroes Haven. This is something that my wife was involved with. And it's a great, great organization for disabled veterans, veterans that are dealing with PTSD, etc. So so take a look for them if you know someone who needs some help who are ex-military who are suffering right now. Alrighty, so this third round is for entertainment. Now, entertainment is very, very subjective. It's really depending upon what kind of things you like. Do you like big production shows, Broadway shows? You might lean in toward Oasis class. If you don't, but you want good production shows, Carnival has really, really upped their game on their XL class ships. So definitely take a look into them and don't discount Carnival anymore because it used to be on some of their older ships. The Carnival Entertainment was kind of very pedestrian. I would kind of put it akin to like, you know, community theater or something along those lines, but it's much better now on the Excel class ships. It just depends upon what you want. Do you want to have a two and a half hour Broadway show or do you want to have a nice 45 minute great production show? No matter which way you go, depending upon what you want, they're both going to have great entertainment. Now where Royal Caribbean does kind of stand out is the different types of entertainment that they have available for you on their Oasis class ships. Not only do they have their production shows and their headliner shows like both people have, they both have also comedy. But I'll tell you one thing right now, comedy is a much better endeavor on Carnival than on Oasis class ships and Royal Caribbean. So if you're the kind of person that really likes comedy, you might want to lean more toward Carnival. So I just went on a tangent, but the other reason why sometimes Royal Caribbean might edge out some people for entertainment is the diversity of entertainment. They have aqua theaters, they have ice skating rinks, they have all sorts of different types of shows that you can go see on a Royal Caribbean ship that you just don't get on an Excel class ship. So entertainment, very, very kind of subjective. Where do I fall personally? I I really don't know. Sometimes I don't like a long two-hour production show and I rather have a good 45-minute production show it's really kind of depending upon how I'm feeling if I do want to see that aqua theater show those things are amazing and that's important to me I might lean toward oasis class if I want really good comedy this cruise then I might lean toward carnival it's very subjective it's kind of just a wash here folks so round three another close toss up. You just can't really make a decision. It all depends upon who you are, how you like to cruise and what kind of entertainment you like. Alrighty, we're up to round four here. Round four, we're talking about ship amenities. Now, there's going to be so many things to do on both of these ships. You're not going to be bored, folks. You're just not going to be bored on these ships. Both ships have a tremendous amount of things you can do. It all depends upon what you want to do, and you'll make a choice on what kind of ship you want to go on. Do you want to be on something with the flow rider? Then go on Royal Caribbean's Oasis class ship. Do you want to be on a ship with a full-blown, you know, roller coaster? Go on Carnival. Carnival also has a ropes course while Royal Caribbean has a rock wall. Again, very similar type of activities. Both ships have the different types of water parks with the water slides, so you're going to have those options too. Now, mind you, there are some Royal Caribbean Oasis class ships, the Allure of the Seas specifically, that does not have water slides. So if water slides are important to you, you're going to want to avoid the Allure of the Seas, but all the other Royal Caribbean Oasis class ships do have water slides. And then you have the adult sunning locations on Royal Caribbean. You do have the Solarium at the front of the ship. And then on Carnival, you do have the Serenity Adults area. Now, on Oasis 
Texas class ships, those solariums are very large. They do have a nice amount of space to them. And they also have a buffet associated there that you can go to that's called a solarium bistro. So the solarium area on Royal Caribbean ships are nicer than the Carnival's adult area, the Serenity area. So that's just me. But again, it's really, they both have them. So you got them on both ships. It all depends upon what you're looking for. If you're looking for a larger adult location, yeah, Royal Caribbean's a little larger. You also get a couple little more nicer amenities in those locations. Now, when we move inside the Carnival XL class ships, I think this is where Carnival's amenities really shine over the Oasis class ship. When you're on an Oasis class ship on the inside, you basically feel like you're in just a big Las Vegas mall. While on the new Carnival XL class ships, it is a much nicer experience. I just love the flow. You have more connection to the ocean when you're inside. They have some great spaces where they do a lot of entertainment that you just don't get on the Royal Caribbean ships. It's just a really, really nice place on the inside. The Royal Promenade was amazing when it first came out, but I think Excel has really kind of taken it to the next level on what you can do on these big ships on the inside. So overall, ship amenities, Again, it all depends upon what you want, right? Do you want a Royal Caribbean type of experience with a nice solarium? Then you know what? You'll go Royal Caribbean. If you want a really nice looking ship on the inside with a lot of things to do and really good flex type of things going on on the inside for entertainment type of things, I tell you, Carnival did a really great job on these XL ships. And for the outside activities, it all depends upon what you want. Do you want a flow rider? Do you want zip lines? Do you want rock climbing walls? Or do you want a ropes course? Or do you want a freaking roller coaster? <laughs> it's just what you want. Again, I'm not sure who to say who's better here. For me, I really love the layout and the amenities overall on the Carnival XL ships. I just think they did a really good job here, and I think it really brings it to the next level. Now, the final area that I'm going to compare these two ships are on the ship's accommodations, the staterooms. When you look at both of these two ships, they're both excellent in the type of accommodations you have. You basically have the whole standard fare of your normal accommodations. Royal Caribbean does have some added options, good cost options for some balconies that are not facing the ocean because it's just the way the ship is configured. So if you're looking for some outdoor space, but having it at a good price and no need to see the ocean, you know, Royal Caribbean's Oasis class ships are a great option. The other area where Royal Caribbean does have an advantage over Carnival when you compare these two classes of ships is in the suite class accommodation. With Royal Caribbean, there's just a lot of different options for suites, while on Carnival, they don't have much options on these ships. Now, they are growing. They're giving you more options for suites on the XL class ships, but they just don't compare to the amount of choice that you have on Royal Caribbean. Now, the whole world doesn't, you know, cruise around in suites, and a matter of fact, a majority, 90% of the people don't cruise in suites. So if you're not a suite class kind of person, it really doesn't matter here, folks. You choose the one that you kind of like the most that has the good accommodations that will work for you. It's just a good choice no matter which way you go. The other interesting thing that Carnival does do that Royal Caribbean does not do is that they do have some special rooms that are really kind of cool, right? They have the Family Harbor area. They have the Havana Club areas where it's not like crazy sweet pricing, but you do get some nicer little amenities if you book into those rooms. The Havana Club area, you do get these great little balconies with cabanas. And it's just a nice experience with a nice little sun deck for you with a little pool as well. It's just, you know, a nice experience that you can get for yourself and not be charged an exorbitant amount of money for those little perks. So... Yeah, if you're a sweet person and you really, really want to travel as a sweet person with a lot of sweet perks, Royal Caribbean is going to be your choice. But if you're not that type of person or you want to try something with an elevated type of feel, but not like break the bank, Carnival's XL classes are great. So there you go, folks. That's our comparison of the two big boys on the block, the Oasis class ships from Royal Caribbean and the Carnival XL class ships. I also want to thank Joe over at Adventures with Joe for the drone footage that was provided for the Carnival Mardi Gras. It was just wonderful footage. I took a look at it. I asked Joe if I can use it in this video, and he was very gracious to allow us to use it. Thank you, Joe. You folks should really go check out his videos. They are quite amazing to watch. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. You really wouldn't imagine how much it does help the YouTube algorithm. Hit that thumbs up. It's very appreciated. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave it down below. We love questions. We love comments. We always answer to all of them. And one more time, if you have not become a member of this Cruise Seekers Crew community, think about subscribing. Turn that notification bell on. It is so appreciated by us. Thank you so much.
So until we talk again next time, this is Rob from Crew Seekers reminding each and every one of you to always seek the seas. Bye now.